what's going on guys and today we've got the harvest 93 overall rg3 this guy is going to be a problem 93 speed 94 throw power 91 short 91 mid and 93 deep 94 throw under pressure 93 juke 92 spin 93 change of direction this guy is basically a running back at quarterback all right um now as far as the abilities i do want to give a heads up okay he does well i did put set feed lead on him because i feel like that's a must 2500 from gunslinger though is crazy but even crazier though is a uh, four thousand right here for fearless that is ridiculous but set feed lead oh, only uh 650 training and i feel like in my opinion i know everybody um has their own way of going about it as far as their abilities for certain quarterbacks but for me set feed lead is always a must no matter who the quarterback is it's just my preference so in this in this video he does have set feed lead so just keep that in mind now i know fearless of course is just is also rather you you know fearless comes in handy but as you can see right here he was under pressure a lot okay because a, a lot of my opponents were blitzing like crazy and yet he didn't really throw any bad passes but this right here man look at this this is where the problem is going to be i mean this guy is so fast as a matter of fact i feel like um yes okay qb containing qb spy will definitely help but honestly i mean you're gonna see later on they tried doing that and i was still able to outrun some of those qb contains actually on one of these option plays you're gonna see me run um it was a uh speed option play or something and they still could and actually they read the quarterback fairly well like it's almost like my opponent knew i was gonna run with them and he committed everyone to the quarterback and guys he still outran him right here this is it they committed to the running back nobody fell for the, the run he still outran him to the edge that blew my mind it, that right there when that had happened when my when my opponent knew that i was going to run the speed option and they still couldn't catch him that was the, you know like the final stamp that was when i knew he was going to be a problem now as far as accuracy all right yes speed is it's great but you still need him to throw accurately and guys i did not see any issues i was i, I, I was extremely impressed okay i do not want to face my opponent who has rg3 not only because he was good in the pocket but because look at this guy he can just outrun qb spies qb contains all right he, or he can sit in the pocket and just throw dimes all day and that came from short mid and deep accuracy i didn't really see any problem with either all right and it was fun yes sending all my receivers deep on purpose just so i can create space like this send everybody deep like knowing that i had no intention of throwing that ball i just want to run with them now this was the biggest surprise okay the number one surprise was not the accuracy was not the speed okay it was the fact that he took hit stick after hit stick after hit stick as you can see and never fumbled not to say he will never fumble i'm just saying that i was that if you you know you need that first down you can't afford to slide um th don't be afraid to, to just you know go a little bit further and try to take that hit or try to juke and spin and whatnot to try and get that first down but look at this beautiful touch pass downfield to uh tyree kill in the barely just got it in there for the touchdown like i said guys his accuracy was great the 93 speed guys it's not surprising right we all know he's going to be fast you know when you see a quarterback with 93 speed i don't need to tell you oh guys you know he's going to be unstoppable or anything you guys know that that that's going to be a problem kind of like when we saw carmichael with that with his height at receiver we knew he was going to be a problem i feel the same way with rg3 everybody has you know michael vick or lamar Kyler Murray and Mariota were the guys at first, and they're, they're kind of going away. You don't really see Mariota and Kyler Murray pop, uh, pop up too often. As far as speedy uh, quarterbacks right now, it's just Michael Vick and um, L uh, Lamar Jackson. But right now, once RG, because look, it's only been a few hours, like literally a few hours. I feel after a few days, maybe even a week, you're going to see RG3 pop up everywhere. Now, you may not have a Washington themed team or a Browns themed team or whatever. But I know a lot of guys have legend themed teams. And you know what? I'm thinking about doing that maybe like next year or even this year even. Because when you hold your team to a... Uh, I mean, when you hold your theme team to a specific team, you got to wait and wait. And just like, you basically have to cross your fingers and hope that your team gets a decent player, right? But obviously, if you do a legends theme team, you're guaranteed to get new players for your, for your team um, multiple times a week. But regardless, I'm getting so off topic. <laughs> um, 
right now his price it, it is at 700,000. It's fluctuating between seven and 800. Like I said, he did just come out. And the reason I feel like that, that it's gonna drop is because all of the 93 overall players right now, right, okay, they were going for about seven to 800. And now I'm seeing them dip to like the 600, the 500 area. They're already starting to dip. I don't know if RG3 is gonna dip with them as fast because of what he is and, and his, his uh, position. I like to think he's gonna hover between seven and 800 for maybe a couple days. I could be wrong, hopefully okay his price might drop more but guys overall all right just the experience i had so much fun let me say it right now if he would if if he had dolphin chemistry no doubt no doubt whatsoever he would definitely take over that spot so if you actually have a, either you know like i said a, a washington theme team legends whatever it may be he has 93 speed if you get a 50 50 theme team and you give him 95 speed man i i just i don't know what you, what you would do then that that would be I don't know it would be fun it'll be so hard to stop but i definitely do recommend getting i was impressed he was a fun quarterback to play with i could definitely now and that's interesting because he's had multiple cards in the past and those cards were always from what i can remember all right his previous cards and previous maddens were always fun but i don't recall them being dominant if, if i rem if i rem remember correctly all right but this one this card looks like it could be dominant okay because I saw everything I needed to see. Now, yes, like I said, I did have set feed leads, so that did help. Without it, would he have been as accurate? I mean, not accurate, but would he have, would he have gotten the ball there as fast? Who knows, all right? But like I said, you need set feed lead and fearless. Like I said, fearless helps, but in my experience, I played multiple games, as you guys saw. People were blitzing all the time. You know, there were linebackers in his face all the time, and yet he threw it pretty well. I don't think I had a... Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't believe I had a single um, bad pass or, like, under pressure pass which is crazy well, i mean it's good because he does have 93 throw under pressure but let's be honest we've seen quarterbacks with high throw under pressure ratings and still you know um panic and throw the ball under pressure horribly either way guys so many good players came out today for the harvest and this is only part one okay we know there's gonna be multiple harvest uh, players coming out throughout the next couple weeks which i look forward to so starting things off strong with rg3 I definitely give him the stamp of approval all right my next review is going to be either the jason taylor yes a little a little bit of biasness there um i believe it was aj brown that got one right yeah I'm, I'm gonna review him as well and just so many others there's plenty of 90 overall players too not just the champions so um guys as always if you guys like the video make sure you comment make sure you like make sure you subscribe if you're new if you guys um have already been subscribed for a long time as usual guys i just want to say thank you for sticking around i know i've been previous um i've been absent the previous couple years but this year we're doing it good guys we're, we're keeping it strong so i want to appreciate it so guys make sure you are always subscribed so you guys will be up to date with this content when it drops i'll see you guys very soon i'm going to pump out like maybe four to five videos today but anyways guys thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time peace